Hey guys, welcome to your uh, love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for the second half of your April, from the 16th to the 30th. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the reading with the outcome and advice. What else you guys need to know, look out for, work on. Apply this to your own unique situation. Get switch storms if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to get the first show reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when i go live all right so virgo tell me about virgo here i want energies for virgo regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the um second half of their april from the 16th to the uh, 30th sun moon rising venus signs for virgo <clears throat> Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Four of Wands. There is a relationship that you're no longer holding on to. You energetically can't give to this connection anymore because I feel like your energy has been completely drained by a man child, by a woman child. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There's a maturity difference between you and this person, an age difference perhaps. Okay, Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You got the Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Yeah, you rather be but you rather be on your own at this point. Uh, you've been through a lot with this individual here, and I feel like you don't want to talk to this person. You know, if this person has financially taken a lot from you here, I feel like you're recovering from it, or that you're in the process of recovering from it. But I feel like you're 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 leaving this behind. You're leaving this behind, you know, for a while. I feel like you've been going back and forth here regarding this person. I feel like you didn't want to leave because I feel like, I feel like you really cared about this person. You really loved this person. I feel like you were hopeful that your love can change this person or, you know, make this person be better or be the best version of, of themselves. But it wasn't real. It, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. That person has to choose them, choose that for themselves. You can't love someone to, to, to be the best version of themselves, you know? They have to choose and want that for themselves. We have the Two of Swords and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy. You came to a realization or that you finally took the, took the rose color glasses off and you just, you just realized that this was not working. And I feel like you ended a connection here with somebody. Yeah, you ended a connection here with somebody and you moved on. You turned your back on them here, Virgo. And Six of Swords, um, King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Scorpio, Energy with the Death card. Six of Swords, you moved on here. Tell me about the person that Virgo is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo for the second half of their April from the 16th to the 30th? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. The Hangman and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Piscean Energy here, Star Card and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, the Emperor here in the Four of Cups. They are doing, they are willing to do what it takes to get you back. Whoever this is, I feel like this is an individual that doesn't want to let you go. The Hangman, Piscean Energy, the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. You know, I feel like this person's playing a bit of a victim here. Uh, you know, I feel like this person's a victim to their own behavior. Yeah, um, they're not really taking responsibility. They're blaming for their shortcomings in life. You know, they're blaming their past. They're blaming their trauma as to why they behave this way. Um, Queen of Wands here and the Star card. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy, Star card, Aquarius, Energy. This person's definitely seeing you as their wish fulfillment. They're definitely coming in with an apology. They're definitely promising that they're making promises that they're going to change. They're going to mature here. You know, they're going to grow up. But are they really? You know, I feel like this person has made those same 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 promises before, and they feel like this person just reverted back. Aries energy with the emperor here. Tell me about the hangman. 
with the Two of Wands. Tell me what the Knight of Wands are in the world. Not quite sure what this person wants. Maybe this person has options. They have one foot in the door and one foot out the door. But I feel like with the World card, this person does not really want this to be over with. I feel like you're healing from this. I feel like you're, uh, you know, I feel like you're traumatized by the whole this whole situation. I feel like this person is chasing you around like a chicken with their head cut off. They're trying to talk to you. They're trying to, you know, do some sort of damage control here. But it, nothing's working here. There's just a lack of balance here. There's a lack of harmony. There's a lack of equal give and take here. And I feel like this person has betrayed you many, 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 many times. This person has betrayed you many times. You know, that page of wands is the energy of someone here who, you know, likes to flirt with other people. This person, you know, could have put, you know, may, might have told you both straight to your face that, yeah, you guys are together, but it, it, they, they're running around telling other people that you guys are just friends or friends with benefits. What else do we have here for Virgo? Outcome and advice for Virgo. What else does Virgo need to know? We're going to work on here for uh, the second half of their... April from the 16th to the 30, 30th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Ten of Cups in the Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups here and Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, Ace of Cups here in the Four. You know, I, I feel like as soon as you cut this person out, you, you know, I, I do feel like eventually there will be a new relationship that comes in for you. You know, as soon as you, you know, do the work to heal from this traumatic experience i do feel like there will be a blessing that's going to be coming in for you new love will come in for you here ace of cups and the fool card it won't it won't be immediate because I, I it's really important to do the work to heal from this the situation that you went through here the uh fool card aries energy aquarius energy ten of cups ten of wands yeah drop this connection cut this connection out let it go completely no more chances the ace of swords here wow this is a toxic relation this is this is a quite a toxic relationship i i, I feel like you know this situation triggers some sort of code codependency within you and i feel like you know you have to work on that or that you realize that you have to work on that eight of cups page of swords temperance in the four swords yeah whoever whoever is trying to reach out to you trying to communicate with you, you're completely disengaging from this person here virgo you're not you're never going to talk to this person again because ideally you know it's important to know that when you hold on to someone or hold on to something you don't make room for anything new and if you make if you do, in fact, make room for something new and you're still holding on to this person, there's a possibility that you can sabotage this new love that's coming in. Ace of Cups, Five of Cups, the Fool card here, and a Ten of Pentacles. This person lost their diamond here. They're, they have regrets here. They have regrets. Yeah, th this individual really lost out on you. And I feel like they want you back. They want you back, but I, I just feel like you're done with this here, Virgo. All right, so Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.